Let's go. Let's take them back. back. Yeah. 94. Uh. Ask the preacher, takes the pulpit. Fix your coat, prepare for 40 below spit. Seven days of heaven's ways and hangups. Chris- it's the 2K Sports pregame show. bring you NBA basketball on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan, and here with me tonight, Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke reporting from the sideline. Now a chance, courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Setting the floor for the Warriors. He adds the Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson at the guard spots. Barnes and Green are the forward set, and it's Bogut in at the center. And last year's midseason trade had to feel good to Yaman Shaw, toiling away in New York, injured, uninspired. Boy, did he find new life in Cleveland. Of course, playing next to LeBron can do that for him. The Warriors shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great, about 77% as a team. And you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. Now, here's Green to the right side. Six on the shot clock. That's a two from Barnes, and that one comes up a bit short. And for Shepard last year, Clark, he added the defense and athleticism on the wing that Cleveland so desperately needed. Yeah, he sure did, Kevin. And he also became a facilitator of all things. I mean, you wouldn't expect that from him, but he averaged over three assists a game easily. The best mark of his career. Good point. Yes, yeah, strong move to the basket there. Nice power to get that up and in. Dishes to Green. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Just around a minute and a half into the first quarter. Irving against Curry. Lets it fly. Irving misses. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Or Cleveland, they've gone two or three here to start out the game. There's the dish to James. But three. Another miss by Irving. Kevin, I didn't like that defensive effort at all, but they are lucky he missed it. Yeah, you hope that's not indicative of the type of D they're going to play because if they do, they're going to have struggles with him tonight. Here's Irving. Harrison Barnes picking up that last basket. Irving kicks to Shumpert. Pass to Mozgov. Back to Shumpert. He's looking for LeBron and finds it. And good on the basket. Book it. James has got his first bucket in this one. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. Cavaliers leading. You can point to any number of things, Clark. The Warriors did well last year. They're playing the road being one of them. Well, the Warriors were exactly road warriors all <laughs> season long, partner. Hit the ground running and finished with the league best 28 road wins. Now Curry 
following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. Shumpert with some nice D. Usually, if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Mozgov passes to Shumpert. LeBron outside. At the elbow, Irving kicks it out to James. Six to shoot. Jump shot is good that time. LeBron's got his second bucket. And for the Warriors, they would go on several road trips undefeated last season. Still, the only time they looked vulnerable were games on the road. Now, here's Irving. And Drew Bogut unable to get his shot to go. And it doesn't really matter who starts the break with how he runs the floor. He seems to always be the one who finishes it. Yeah, he is so fun to watch and how he attacks the rim at full speed like that, man. It's uh, it's something to behold the way that guy gets to the rim. And you know, with the Warriors on the road, they would occasionally dig a hole they couldn't get out of. Still, hard to critique a team that was so dominant in every facet of the game last season, even on the road. Irving. Kyrie Irving made his first playoff appearance last season with the Cavs and individually got a big $90 million max extension as well. He's in a really good spot in his career at this point. A big group substitution here for Cleveland. Anderson Verizhaz checked in for Mozgov. Tristan Thompson comes in for Kevin Love. J.R. Smith's checked in for James. And it's Williams in for Shumpert. Livingston dishes to Spates. Cranes it with the D all over him. And speaking of Irving's star status, last season a signature shoe in his name. I see that be you and Parker wearing them tonight. That's always that's always a big deal. Kevin, that's an elite club it to be is. in. Only it the is. true superstars get that kind of status. He certainly got the flash to go with the substance. Richard Jefferson, he's checked in for Kyrie Irving. Here's Azili. That drops and it comes off the assist from Livingston. Yeah, that's asking a lot from that defender. Yeah, it certainly is. I mean, he just doesn't have the size to really be effective in that kind of matchup. Now here's Williams. The feed to Smith. Pick by Verja. Off the pick. They get it back. The kick out to Williams. Cleveland moving it around. Smith for three, and that one's good. Smith's got his first three points of the game. You know what, guys? He can really light it up from the perimeter at times. 46 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Livingston kicks to Azili, and the layup's good off the glass. <laughs> 40 seconds left in the first. Outside Williams. Picked by Verajal. Back to Williams. From past the arc, another three for Cleveland. Everything going according to the script for them. Just doing the job on the backboard. They sure are. I mean, they've done a terrific job carving out space under the basket and then pursuing the ball. You know, it's one thing to box out, but you've got to pursue the ball if you're going to get rebounds. And um, they look strong here in the early going. And that does it for the first quarter. Cavaliers lead by eight. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. <laughs> 